and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to clean out Beavis's cage a little bit, like spot clean. Um, I don't think I need to do like a full cage clean this time around. We will do that next time. Um, it's really not that bad, but I do want to put some new things in there for him and um, just kind of spot clean here and there. This is kind of where I have him at the moment. Um, it's like the laundry room and then there's my bedroom we got the bathroom right there we have them on top of this freezer and don't worry you guys it's not on or anything um it's there's actually nothing in this freezer and we were about to get rid of it um but i thought you know what let's keep it for now until i get like some sort of stand to put his cage on so that is why that is here but don't worry it's not on not cold um yeah so as you guys can see it is kind of messy I do want to put a few more things in here for him I do need to clean out his wheel as well because it's looking pretty nasty so we're gonna clean that I actually just fed him last night so I think he took it all and hoarded it he does usually sleep on the inside here this little cardboard box that I had made him he really enjoys that a little bit later we are going to go ahead and yeah clean clean it up for him and put some more bedding in I'm just going to stick with the Aspen for now um, next time though when we do a full cage clean I will switch out the Aspen with some uh, different bedding either KT clean and cozy or care fresh um, depends on what I get that is what we will be doing whoops a little bit later okay I had to come into the other room because I had to sit down a little bit I actually had um, well today's like the first day I feel like a normal human being I think it was last Thursday uh, I went like I laid down in bed like was getting ready for bed lay down and then all of a sudden out of the blue I pinched my sciatic nerve uh, my lower back and it was super painful I had pain shooting down my leg and I could barely walk. It was really terrible. I've actually never had that before. My boyfriend gets it a lot because um, of what he does for work. He's always lifting things and he hurts his back a lot. Um, he has actually been to a chiropractor for it, um, but this has never happened to me before. I've, I've had back pain, but I've never had anything like that before. Today, I actually feel better and I feel good enough to film a video. I'm just glad I don't have to feel that pain. It's still a little bit there. Like I feel it there. So I have to be really careful um, that it doesn't like come back full blown or something. Cause that's what I'm really scared of. But yeah, feeling much better. And thank you to everyone that was sending me well wishes. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys real quick of an update before we go and clean um, Beavis's cage a little bit. So I'm sure by the title, as you guys saw, that I am getting, I am getting rats again. I'm really, really super excited about this. Some of you that are might be new to my channel might not know, but I did get rats about a year ago. I had gotten Jake and Charlie and they were actually feeder rats. Um, I got them from a feeder bin that was at a local pet shop. So that is how I had gotten them. Um, I only had them for two weeks and I honestly got really super attached to them. <laughs> Uh, even though it was only for two weeks, but they sadly um, somehow passed away like almost at the same time and it was really devastating to me and really terrifying to me. So I did not want to get any more rats for a long time because I was just super scared that um, something like that would happen again. I do think that I am now over the fear of that. Um, I have overcome the fear of that. We are actually going to be getting a double critter nation this time. And um, when I do get it in, me and my boyfriend, I will film it for you guys. Me and my boyfriend will set it up and you guys can watch us set up the cage. I did get a couple of things that I found at Goodwill, like little plastic bins. I do want to go to the Dollar Tree and see what they have there because I know there's a lot of you know cheap things you can get there to use for the rats like little toys and, and, and little um, baskets and things like that. So until I literally have everything that I need for the rats everything is set up in the cage 
that is when I will go ahead and be on the search for some raddies. This time I do want to get at least, at least three rats. I'm hoping maybe we could get more, but I'm not sure if that will work. I do know that I would like to get at least three um, if it wouldn't work out. At least two, obviously, you know, the more rats, the better more happier they will be so I want to make sure that they are going to be happy I want them to feel really comfortable so yeah that is kind of the goal the plan I really was so excited to share this uh with you guys I'm really hoping that nothing bad happens this time I'm not going to be getting feeder rats this time um I am probably going to be looking on Craigslist um, I don't think that I have a breeder in the area or close to me uh, so that kind of sucks as well, um, but I'm definitely going to be looking on Craigslist, so I'm hoping, really hoping, um, we'll be able to bring some raddies home that are in need of a home. So yeah, I'm just really excited and um, really something to look forward to in the upcoming week here, um, just slowly gathering things and putting it together. So yes, really? <laughs> oh, and this is probably... Sorry about the glare because of the window. Ooh, I have the blinds open right now. But this wall right here where all the pictures are, we're probably going to put the double critter nation on this wall um, right here. And then we're going to move these pictures to a different wall. Um, and, but yeah, this is basically the spot where I'm going to uh, put the raddies. Oh.